I'm going to show you how to use the simple shapes palette in Vector to create uh, an irregular uh, shape to tessellate with. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with a square. And start with a square. That's better. And down in the bottom corner down here, the dimensions, I always untick the aspect ratio um, anchor and just make them 100 pixels and make it 100 pixels. You can make um, your object any size you like but I like to keep mine regular so here we go I'm going to start with a square and I'm now going to make a circle so I'm going to make a circle and I want that to be the same dimensions or same diameter as the square so I'm going to do that again make it 100 pixels there now I need to make a copy of the square and I'm going to use the square to make the circle into a semicircle so all I'm going to do is I'm going to align the square the new square over the circle and I'm going to keep rolling it up and until I get this halfway mark. Can you see that the um, vertical lines say that the square has been centered over the circle and the horizontal line there says that the square is halfway through the circle. So now I can use this and I can highlight both of them and I can use this range of tools across the top here to exclude, I don't want that one, um, intersect, I don't want that one, but what I want is subtract, so I'm going to click on that one. So now I've got my semicircle. So I'm now going to copy that and I'm going to use this and you'll see why. So now I'm going to use the same uh, subtract feature and I'm going to put this semicircle at the bottom of my square. And can you see again the alignment tool indicators here say it's exactly centered and halfway. And I'm going to highlight those and use the same thing again and I'm going to subtract. And so now I've got a square with a subtracted semicircle. Now, because I've got to do the um, opposite, um, I've got to, if I take from one side, I've got to add to the other. Here's the circle I made a copy of. I can highlight these together and again, use the alignment tools to make sure it's exact and accurate. And so now I can now use this other option here to unite or add. And I've now made this shape. So now I can, and this shape will now tessellate. I can make a copy of this. And I can change the color, so let me see what's going on. So I'm just going to choose those two, and I'm going to align them. There we go. The alignment tools help me make sure I'm nice and accurate. I can copy this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip this vertically, and I'm going to change the colors. So I'm going to just, I'm just randomly quickly choosing a, a four color palette here. So let's make, uh, let's choose a, uh, That'll do. Oh, it's pretty ugly, but never mind. And so now I'm going to group this. So I'm going to right click, come to group, so I can use those. I'm going to do the same here. Whoops. Right click, group. And now I'm going to move these together so I get them exactly where I want them. About there. And so now I can group these. Group. And I can now copy this. And now I've got this tessellating pattern. So continuing on with using the simple tools palette here, we can actually make something way more complicated in terms of an irregular shape. So I'm going to show you what to do. So again, I'm just going to make my initial starting square 100 pixels. And then I'm going to make another circle. And again, I want that to be 100 pixels wide. So just make sure the aspect ratio lock has been turned off when you do this. I'm going to copy this square. I need to change the color of it so I can um, align it. So again, just like we did before, that's it, perfect, and I'm going to use the subtract option, click subtract, um, and now I'm going to make, um, what am I going to do now, oh yes, I'm going to add a square to this, and I'm just, just, just starting to play around with this, I'm not going to, yeah, that'll do, I'm going to now combine these, or unite, there we go, and now I need to make a copy of that, and I need to make this a different color. And I'm going to align this, that's not too big, no. 
So if you want to make sure that you are aligning things accurately, what you can do now is I'm going to put this over the bottom here. I've zoomed in slightly. That's centered. You can see the blue center line mark there. I'm happy with that. So I'm now going to subtract those. It's looking good. Let's zoom out again. And now I'm going to add this to the top. And this should, let's just zoom it a bit more. It's a bit far away. Just make sure that these combine. Yes, centered and combined. That's looking good. So now I can unite those. I've now made this pretty complex shape. But now I'm going to apply the same rules again. I'm going to just make uh, this shape here and I'm going to add a circle. I'm not really measuring at this point. I'm just going to join these together. Um, make this a bit smaller, I think. Make this a bit smaller. Make this a bit wider. For no other reason than I just want to see what this looks like. Yep, that's good. I'm going to combine those. So they're now united. I need to make a copy of this. And this time I'm going to center this at the top here. Yep, that's centered. It's very important to make sure that you get your measurements accurate. And now I'm going to subtract that. And of course, because I've taken that away, I need to add this to the bottom down here. So again, centered. And so now I've made this mirrored, unite, way more complicated shapes. Let's just zoom out slightly. So now I can copy this. I can change the color of it. So let's go to blue here. And these will now really nicely tessellate together. So we've now made this repeating pattern. So what we can do now is we can copy this and we can flip this vertical. We can change the colors if you wanted to. We can just go to green on here and let's do, I don't know, that's right there, that'll do, just to see the difference. So now I can group these and I'm gonna join these together about here and then I'm going to group those as a whole object and now I can move them around and start organizing my it's always best to start here and you can just start adding them together so once you've made one shape you can start you can start tessellating them together like this. And so what you can do is by adding these shapes, let's highlight all of those. We can really begin to start looking, whoops, took the wrong way. So now we've made this irregular shape tessellate. And as you can see, you can really start to experiment with the, um, the, the layout and the shape of your objects just by building up from a simple square and the, using the add and subtract, the opposites. And you can also look at and experiment with doing the same rule but on a rotational symmetry focus.